What to you? Amy McDermott. Yeah, uh, she applied for a job. And of all the companies in Pine Valley, she had to come here. Well, I'm sure you let her down easy. Oh, oh, no, no. I hired her. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. I know, I know. But clearly, we need help here, Zach. And uh, she has the credibility. Hi, hi, yes, I hurt my finger. Mm -hmm. Yes. And she's qualified and, and all that, but mm -hmm. uh, she's just a huge pain in my butt. And Ryan's soon-to-be wife. No. No, thank God she turned him down. Thank God. That girl, she pretends to be all sugar and sweet, but you should have seen her. Her mouth was all over me and my business and Ryan. And it's, thank God that she turned him down. Yeah. Why, why would somebody like Ryan fall for someone with a I, mouth that's like that? Okay. You know what? You have your little joke there. Have your little inside joke. That's not funny, though. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that I have to just leave them alone. It's none of my business. It's their lives, not mine. Just ignore her. But, Zach, you should have seen her. You should have heard this woman. She actually thinks that I want Ryan all to myself. She's not the only one. <sighs> So, uh, what, what you said about me wanting Ryan all to myself, is that what people think, or is that what you think? I know you don't want Ryan, but you want to run his life, and you don't think there's a woman good enough for him. No, that's not true. I, I would never try to... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God, I'm such a liar. <laughs> yes, okay, of course I want to run Ryan's life. I want to microscope his girlfriends. I, it's, it's all about control. That's, that's how I'm built. I like how you're built. <laughs> how do you do that? I'm just ranting here like a fool, and I act out like a child, and you never judge me. You never make me feel like I'm a total nutcase. Well, even if I don't say that I think you're a nutcase, doesn't mean that I don't think that you're uh, a nutcase. Yeah, okay, what? Eh, stop. No mouthing off. I am the mother of your child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing mother. Amazing child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're having his baby? Yes, Mother. Zach and I are having a child. And we are beyond thrilled. Congratulations, sweetheart. I'm so happy for you. Are you happy for me? Uh, Mom, I, uh, I have to go make an important phone call to London. So I'll be right back. So, what time is it in London? A little after midnight? What is it you don't want Kendall to hear? Can I ask you something? You hate that this kid's gonna connect me to your daughter for the rest of our lives, don't you? You wish that she'd seen the light and run back to Ryan. I couldn't have said it better myself. I want Kendall to be with the man who will make her happy. Well, then we both want the same thing. You're a phenomenal businesswoman, Erica. I've always thought that. Your parenting skills, I don't know, you, just, you make some choices. But I, I understand the motivation behind it. And I respect it because you want what's best for your kids. And I want the same thing. I want what's best for Spike and for the baby on the way. It's how you go about getting the best for you that has me worried. Yeah. I'm not Ryan. I make different choices. I don't look at the world the same way. Not a white knight. Never will be. And I know we've had our problems. But I want you to believe something. 
I will protect Spike and Kendall and that baby with my life. I swear. Hey, guys, I think we should get going before we miss Miranda's party. Oh, my God, Miranda's party. I completely yes. forgot. Uh, this day has been just so chaotic. Where's your coat up there? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to go home and, and get Miranda's present. Do you want to know what we talked about? No, I don't, actually. I want you to know that I am so happy that my husband and I are having a baby. Zach is everything I want, Mom. Can you just be happy for me? Change. I can't go like this. I, I need to go home and change. Don't you think? The gorgeous and Rachel is bringing Spike. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Hello. We're not quite sorry for late. <laughs> You're hey. here. Got hey. presents. Hello. Hi, Hello. sweetheart. Hello. Oh, a whole pile of presents. Yes. Miranda will be so excited. Good. Oh, that was so pretty. pretty. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, oh, hi, God. You guys oh, beat the birthday, girl. Good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Champagne? Oh, uh, no, thank you, Zoe. Uh, Sparkling water? Yes. Make that <laughs> two, okay, please. Yeah. Well, uh, Kendall and um, Zach, do you think that it's time for you to, uh, to make your big announcement? Sure. Uh, everyone? Zach and I are having a baby. Oh! Congratulations! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Zach, Zach, I'm thank so you. delighted. Oh, it's not yeah. what we did, it, but oh, for you. Oh, and there is. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Dad, Dad, will I still be the baby's aunt if your divorce gets finalized? We have never met. It's true. Look who's here. Oh! Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Sweet. The, the perfect day. Hello, little angels. <laughs> look, Miranda, look at everybody who's here for your big day. Hey, Miranda, this is all for you. Home. Sweetheart, happy birthday. <laughs> I can't screw this up. Darling, you are a wonderful father. And Spike adores you. I'm not his only father, so that's that's not the problem. I mean, I I think about what Ethan said, how disappointed he was in me, and I I, I don't want that happening with my baby. Well, just don't. You know, when someone's been blessed with having a child, he should really count his lucky stars. I am incredibly grateful. Then show it. Don't focus on what might go wrong. Just uh, have hope. Hope never made much sense to me. <laughs> you, you just practice. And you're very lucky. You've got what? You've got eight months. Hmm. You can work on it, and it'll come to you. Well, the broadcast of this pregnancy definitely got a better reception than the last one. Yeah, well, last time you made a broadcast like this, we thought you were pregnant with Greenlee Ryan's child. Kettle, if there was any way I could take back the things I said, the things I did. Jackson, uh, stop, me, stop, I'm so sorry. stop it. It's behind us. Okay, thank you. I just want you to know I'm really and truly very, very happy for both of you. Thank you. Oh, come Give on. me a hug. Why don't you get a ride with Rachel? I got a stop to make. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, okay. Can you take the very excitable Spike home, and I will meet you guys there. Bye, Munchkin. Thank you. Uh, I know where you want to go, and I want to go with you.
dad's fault. I had a chance to know Ethan, and I pushed him away. Don't let me waste a single moment with our kids, OK? I won't. You won't. Great big brother. Yeah. Well, you know, he's going to be a part of our children's lives. We'll tell Spike and the new baby all about him. I pushed him away because I didn't think I could be a father to him. I didn't want him to inherit the Cambius curse. Okay, this Cambius curse. I told you the night that we made this child that there was no curse. It's not real. So <sighs> It was your father's insane need to control you. And Michael's crazy need to lash out of the world because he never got your dad's approval. I don't want my kids to look at me the way I looked at my dad. The way that Ethan looked at me. When he or she looks at you, they'll see what I see. A brave, strong, yeah. yeah, caring man who loves his family. You need to believe that, Zach. It's true. I'd be a good father to these kids. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think I can do it. With their mom's help. Well, you got it. What are you thinking, huh? What are you thinking, Spike Man? You want a brother? You want a sister? You want twins? Uh, ooh, ooh, you twins. You need that. said twins. Uh, yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Uh, He's so huge, I can't even fit through the door. I'm thinking brother. You know why? There'll be three of us. We'll outnumber your mom, and we'll be in control of the remote control. Oh. And the toilet seat, and the fridge. Oh, yeah, OK. And well, you, anything. Oh, have. yeah. Well, you like that? Well, I think I'm going to have to bring in your, yeah, you li oh, you like that. <laughs> I'll bring in maybe your Aunt Bianca and your cousin Miranda. That's right, and then we'll make it even. Or better yet, I'll bring in my mom. Oh, come on, don't scare the kid. We're having fun right now. Come here. Yeah. Sit right here. I know what we'll do. We'll have twins. Oh. Then it'll be Spike and Butch and nope. Tank. Butch, flare. no Tank. Come on, let me, hear me out for a second. All right. That'll be the front line. Then all we need from your mom is a set of triplets. Goalie, two defensemen, we're set. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, your stepdaddy uh, wants me to be his hockey brood mayor from Detroit. He's crazy. He's losing his mind, isn't he? Like he's sleeping. <clears throat> yeah, he's down for the count. Oh. Mm. This may sound corny, but mm -hmm. there is this moment right before I put him down in his crib when I'm looking at him. I think how cool is this? This beautiful, innocent child trusts me enough to fall asleep in my arms. Mm. I can't wait until there's two of them. Mm. No, I just want them to count on me, you know? Mm, Zach. You do not have to prove anything. You've already proven that we can trust you. In big, big ways. Like when you barricaded yourself in the hospital, mm. in my hospital room, and you, you fought to make sure that Spike was born strong and healthy. And in small, everyday ways, like when you put Spike to sleep. This baby of ours is going to be born trusting you and loving you from the second it comes out. What are you thinking? The warehouse in Vegas when my dad left that note there. Mm -hmm. It said, Kendall chose to save your life instead of hers. No one's ever loved me that much. I didn't choose your life. 
I chose our life. This life. You and me and Spike and a little munchkin on the way, our whole family. It's only gonna get better, Zach. We're only gonna get better. Lose my pride and reach out for your hand. 